Jimmy Cannon here, singer and voice coach. This might be, I think, the first time that I've actually done a singing video specifically, although this uh, this also applies to uh, to speaking as well. This is something that we do uh, very, very regularly when we're trying to find more resonance and more projection in the mask in the mask area, and it also just evens everything out, balances everything out, and it makes make sure you're in the right the right placement, everything is 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 balanced and in tune, as it were, with the breath and in the right place. So um, we use a an NG sound, which is the uh, the end of, of, of words like hoping, singing, wishing, hoping, singing, wishing, hoping, something like that whatever the song is, um, but we're gonna do singing. So singing, and it's the NG at the end of that word, um, and we're gonna use that placement. So it's a great placement to do because it brings everything in the nasal cavity. You can find, you can experiment with different, different resonant sounds. So you can go quite light, you can go or really, really quite forward. You might not want to be uh, mind that forward, but it's, uh, the the contrast between the two is quite interesting. So now, when you're in that that placement, that area in that in that that sound, you want to you want to you want to feel the air going up past the soft palate into the nasal cavity, into this mask area. So what you're doing by by creating that sound, the NG, so singing tongue forward, tip of your tongue on the bottom teeth, singing is that your the back of your tongue is reaching the soft palate and the soft palate is coming down to 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 hit the uh, back of the tongue and it's closing off the area around in, in your mouth the oral cavity is closing the air doesn't go in here singing goes all the way and it goes into here this area singing and if you if you hold the bridge of your nose you should be able to hear feel um, some resonance here. So singing uh, just, Yeah, just experiment with that. So singing Now We're just gonna do a fist. We're gonna start. I'm, I'm on B flat here. Um, Singing, um, just up to a fifth, and then when we get to the top, we're going to let the tongue drop ever so lightly. Um, if everything is in place, you're support, supporting properly. The placement is in place. The placement is in place. The placement is there. Then let the tongue, the back of the tongue, just drop very slightly, and we should just get a nice, clean, open, even, balanced sound. So, and um, it should be quite forward as well. So, singing. Singing. So go go from us uh, all the way to the fifth. Um, singing, and as you're going up the up the interval up to the fifth, and we do this in much wider intervals, by the way. But singing, feel the difference in the resonance from from the tonic from the from the the one um, to the dominant to the fifth. So singing. And make sure everything, make sure the colour, the tone, and the timbre is balanced. So singing, and do that in different vowels. So singing, and there's the whole thing open. So maybe start with an NG just to get the right placement. So singing. And then we're gonna go up. So singing we singing. Singing, 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 
singing ah singing ah singing ah don't forget to just let it go singing singing ah singing ah singing Singing, ah, singing, ah. Make sure you're supporting here as well. So, mm, singing, ah, 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 ah. singing, ah. Well, I'm not too too much um, level. Singing. Singing, etc. Um, so this is a way to find more forward projection, more more energy, more 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 presence in the mask area, and also it's it's just it's a great way to if I'm if I'm working with a student who's finding it difficult to 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 pitch and find uh, the balance of the intervals, whether whether it's a fifth. Lies over the ocean. Mm -hmm. Just use that, use that NG placement to sing whatever the song is. So, for instance, that major six. Mm -hmm. My body lies over the ocean. Just uh, use that placement first when you're practicing. Just to uh, get into that that placement, get into that, get into the feel and that that sense of resonance, um, without having to worry about anything from really from from here. So everything downwards, you've you've sorted already. The breath is there, the support is there. So smiling, the air's there. Then we just got to shape the sound, shape the consonant open to a vowel sound, and we're just letting the resonance do it do its thing, letting the sound do its thing in the head at head here. So my body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. Stop me singing that song now, because I don't know all of it, and I wouldn't want to, you know, embarrass myself not knowing the lyrics to the whole song. So there we go. NG placement. So we start with an NG sound, and that's our placement. Let's get everything in the right place, all the right balance. So for instance, singing, and then whatever exercise you want to do, whether it's an arpeggio, when you get to the top, just you're gonna flip, you're gonna slightly let go of the back of the tongue, all the energy is in place. So sing. And try on different vowels. It's a great exercise to do. Um, so uh, please leave some comments in below how you're you're getting on with that. If you have any other. Uh, exercises that you do that really helps that four placement reaches the high notes without straining here. This is what we're trying to do is we're trying to avoid too much strain in the larynx area and put, and put a little bit more resonance or most of the resonance actually in, in this area without sounding too musical fit. Unless you want to, unless you want to do that, which is fine. Keep in touch, keep singing, keep speaking, and I shall uh, be doing a video um, very, very soon.